Hello everyone, this is Sai Soldier here. We are going to be uh, starting a new Let's Play in honor of the recently released uh, DLC for Mountain Blade Warband, The Viking Conquest. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with it, it was just released, I do believe, on Steam. Uh, and it allows you to play as a Viking, and it includes a uh, story mode. Um... One interesting thing that I've noticed about this uh, DLC is that it includes permadeath, at least in the story mode. I'm not exactly sure if it does in the uh, basic game, but uh, in the story mode, it does have permadeath. I assume if you get uh, knocked unconscious with a blunt weapon, you're still probably taken prisoner. But in the uh, story mode, if you are hacked to death with an axe... That, my friends, is it for you. Uh, it does supposedly include autosave, but that uh, feature does not seem to be working. I'm going to go with rest, improves morale, gore, and stamina. Uh, the armor penalty, I do not agree with that. Uh, I don't see how wearing armor could actually make you weaker as far as pulling back a bow. Uh, because... Uh, from what I've seen, armor penalty affects your power draw, which means that you're not supposedly able to pull the string on a bow somehow. Uh, that doesn't really make sense. To me, if it decreased your skill with the bow, uh, like your accuracy, yeah, I can see that. But I can't see actually decreasing your power to pull back uh, the string on a bow. That doesn't actually make sense. So... Uh, Horse riding, yeah, maybe I can see that, but uh, I can't see it actually affecting your power draw. And I do like to play as an archer character, so I'm definitely going to be disabling that. Because, yeah, it just doesn't make sense that it's going to affect your strength to pull back a, a more powerful bow. Ah, in the ninth century, long ago are the lights of Rome. Absorbed by the tide of time, yet several centuries remain until the golden age of knights and princesses to come. It is a brutal, dark, and ruthless era of raw strength and survival, where men go to bed every night, praying to see a new day. It is the age of the Viking, the clans of Ireland, the ascension of Wessex, and the emergence of the kingdom of Alba. It awaits you. So, here is our character creation screen for uh, this mod. Uh, male, uh, height normal. i still not entirely sure what it does to select a young, adult, or elder. My guess is perhaps that uh, maybe when you're leveling up, if you choose young, um, there's a few more options where it's going to give you attribute points to uh to place into your character versus adult uh because from what i've seen on another let's play uh if you choose adult and when you level up it doesn't give you attribute points uh you're pretty much stuck with what you got in the beginning maybe if you uh you know hit like level five it might give you a an attribute point maybe every five levels who knows i don't really know exactly how that's working um I honestly I can't say that it's going to give me attribute points if I choose young either but it did seem to give uh, somebody more attribute points to start out with as an adult than it did when they started out well when I have started out as a young character uh, I'm going to hope that if I choose young when I level up I'm actually going to be able to put some points into attributes because uh, the test characters I've done it uh really didn't give me the attribute points that I wanted. Uh, to be perfectly honest, even though I chose, uh, like, all trading type, uh, trading type uh, virtues, nationalities, occupations, it did not give me much at all in the way of, uh, in the way of charisma or even intelligence. Um, which just doesn't make sense. Uh, cleric. I think we're going to go with that. Where was that? So, according to Galen's ancient temperaments, your personality is choleric. It is the element of fire. Its Hippocrates' humor is yellow bile. It is associated with people who are persuasive, egocentric, 
extroverted, independent, charismatic, and ambitious. These people are also insistent, impetuous, bad-tempered, restless, and touchy. For our greatest virtue. Uh, do, do, do. I think. Let's see here. We're going to go with wisdom. Uh, one would think that uh, wisdom might increase your intelligence or could be less so your charisma. Nationality. In the, uh, in the story mode, it doesn't really appear that your nationality has that huge of an effect on anything that I can really see. Uh, maybe nationality affects your attributes in some degree. I don't really know. Uh, but whether you choose foreigner or Norse, probably anything, it's going to start you out in the same location. Uh, so that might be just more of a personal choice for you. I am going to choose foreigner. My father's occupation. Let's just say the man was a merchant. I do believe. And as a child, I learned oratory. My vocation later on was that of... I'm tempted to say Traveler, even though I know that doing all of this, it's still going to give me a pathetic amount of charisma and intelligence. Even though I've got a merchant father, and I learned oratory skills, and I was a traveling merchant, uh, the skills that it's, the attributes, rather, that it's going to give me uh, in the beginning are going to be pathetically low for charisma and uh, intelligence. That I kind of have a bit of a problem with. But uh, again, I am starting out as young. And if it does allow me to increase uh, increase those particular attributes later on, that uh, might make sense. Because, uh, you know, how charismatic or intelligence is a uh, very young 16-year-old? We'll see. Anyways, we will continue on. Allow me to quit without saving because I do know that this uh, this particular DLC does have a few bugs. And as I said, it uh, started me out with a very low charisma. Um, I would like to be a leader of men. It did start me out with quite Good trade skills, though. The skills that started me out with are great. Uh, wonderful, in fact. Um, now, another uh, another thing to note, a difference here. Rather than the base mountain blade, where uh, for every three attribute points you have, you can raise a skill up one point. In the Viking expansion, for every two points of your attributes you can raise the uh, skills that are governed by that attribute. So if I was to increase my charisma up to 10, I could then increase my leadership up to 5, which I am going to do. Now then, uh, we will actually want to be using a bow. So we're going to pour our points into power draw. Uh, the remainder of that, we've got pathfinding, inventory management, uh, wound treatment, surgery, first aid. Not terrible things to have for uh, a leader. Power strike. We have nothing in power strike. Oh, my goodness. That's going to be quite pathetic when I uh, have no bow to start out with. Once I have a bow, it's not going to be terribly bad. But, uh, yeah, well. It might not be that bad because, uh, one other feature this mod has, uh, it changes the way the, uh, character progression goes, uh, quite greatly. Uh, again, I'm not entirely sure how this is going to work out, but, uh, from what I've seen, when you increase in levels, you gain two skill points and zero attribute points. Uh, hopefully again, as I said, that's going to change, uh, once I get to the, 
game and see how it affects characters who are young. Because the character I have seen in a Let's Play, it was actually an adult. So adults may actually get less attribute points. So now let's randomize the Dark Lord. Hmm. We want a big burly looking fellow. Yes, not particularly liking any of these. Uh, that man wasn't terribly bad. I don't like his skin. He's too pale. You would think the Dark Lord might be a little darker, although you have Emperor Palpatine, who's quite pasty and white. Yeah, he spins out his time in the dark, so actually maybe the Dark Lord should be rather white. He doesn't get much sun. Let's just see what different hairstyles we have here. Kind of would like a top knot, but I don't know how many uh, Viking types had a top knot. Let's see here. And we'll choose a beard. Nothing, nothing particularly great. I want some sort of braided beard. It's not terribly bad. Have I cycled through all these? Seems like before I had seen more options. Alright, let's look at my hair color. Yeah, let's we'll just be a blondie. A blonde Dark Lord. Yes. Ah, oh, you can't sleep. You hear the constant crunch of the boat hole, the smell of sea brine, and feel the breeze caressing your face. But your eyes are closed and refuse to open. And your mind keeps dreaming, remembering other times, a past life that feels far away, and that you remember less every day. Even though not many months have passed since your departure, now the future is uncertain. Your journey has brought you to the Frisian Sea, hoping to find news about an old sorcerer who takes care of all ills. Because your mother is sick. For her, you left everything behind, a world you knew like the back of your hand, and paid for passage on a north boat. A paunchy merchantman. It is slow and clumsy, but its captain has promised to take you to the remote part of Frise, where the sorcerer lives. Your mother travels with you. Nobody else has joined you. Her illness progresses, and there are days when she no longer recognizes you. But she appears to be completely sound at other times. Every morning you wake up not knowing which day it will be. Will you be able to converse with her, or will you have to tie her to the post so she does not fall overboard? You need to wake up. Though your eyes oppose you and your mind boils with fever. One more effort, your eyelids obey. West through all, Dark Lord. Are you well today? You were moving violently in your sleep and saying incomprehensible things. My sailors thought you were being tormented by a spirit. Where am I? What is this place? Oh, this is bad. You don't remember anything. My name is Avolioff. I am the captain of this ship, the Woden Rick. You embarked with us in Freeze some weeks ago, paying well for us to take you on. Well, I remember now. Yes, the Dark Horde remembers. Well, don't worry. These things happen to everyone. Thanks, but uh, it's light out. Shouldn't we be under full sail? The boat is not moving. What is happening? Why have we stopped? Ah, oh, we found a bit of wreckage. Some half-sunken ships. Looks like there was a fight here recently. 
I have my men checking out the situation and looking for survivors. Poor bastards. Wouldn't have had a chance against Viking longships. We'll be on our way soon enough, though. Oh, could we hurry it along? Whoever sunk these ships might still be nearby. He stares at you for a second, then lets out a chuckle. Relax, man! Your friend Bodo insisted on keeping watch. I doubt that fellow ever misses a thing. Bodo? Uh, yes. Well, I'm still worried. He nods. If you had been one of those ships instead of this one, you'd want us to stop, now wouldn't you? It's the law of the sea, especially this sea. May we talk later, sir? I need to give some orders to my men. Ah, this is the tutorial. Tells you how to walk around and tells you to go talk to Bodo. Hello, Bodo. Ah, good day, Dark Lord. It is good to see that you are well. You were giving us a fright talking in your sleep. I'd hate to be one troubled by such dreams. I am fine, thank you. No one has need to worry. Or, yes, I had a nightmare. But now I'm awake. All that matters is what's ahead. Yes, we are finally near Freeze. After all these days, we will part, for my journey continues on towards West CX. For now, it is good to see you up and about, friend. Remind me. Who are you? To tell the truth, my mind is still a little foggy. Why, well, I am Bodo. I hail from Cantabria, in the kingdom of Austrius, in the north of the land that the Romans called Hispania. We have become well acquainted on this voyage. Ah, then you know you've told me your story, but I'd like to hear it. No, I don't really care. Is that right, Bodo? Well, I can go now to help check on that ship. Farewell for now. Let's go down and talk to the veteran. Ah, good day to you, lad. The captain hired me to protect this ship. Here on matters of defense, my word is the law. So, I see. You must be a veteran. Ah, can I learn about fighting from you? Indeed you can. I don't have anything better to do while we aren't in combat. I can find you some opponents to practice if you like. Or if you have any questions about the theory of combat, feel free to ask. Actually, can we move on to the practice? The Dark Lord doesn't need to know about your theory of combat. Good. It's good to find someone eager to practice. Let's see what you'll do. If I may say so, I see a great warrior in you. Some sailors have been idle since we stopped. Let's see if one of them can help us. A sailor will fight you. Are you ready? Why, yes, the Dark Lord is indeed ready. Here you go, then. Good luck. Ah, the Dark Lord will block your attack, and then he'll smack you in the face like that. Yes, you have another one. Yes. You missed. You missed the Dark Lord. Indeed. Your aim is a little off. It's a good thing you're a sailor, not a fighter. Yes. Uh-oh. Why are you going into the water, man? Oh, the Dark Lord smacked you in the face. Everybody back on the ship, hurry! Oh, Woden, we're in trouble. Why, what is happening? Shh, keep quiet. Listen, we're in danger. As we were watching you fight, two longships arrived. Now I can see the banner. It's Finn Bullnecked. Ah, oh, damn it. You'd better pray to whatever gods you worship. Hell, you may as well pray to those you don't. Won't matter if he catches us. I knew this would happen. We should not have stopped. You notice his hands are shaking from nervousness. I think they're just passing us by. If we stay still right here, they may just think we're another bit of the wreckage. That's our only hope. Ah. What? What? We should have already been escaping to the mist. Rome in for all it's worth. Now he looks really scared. Ah, Sven spotted us. They're turning this way. Nothing for it but to move. Cut the anchors and start running. Oh, Woden is no use. Help. Damn you, man. You got the Dark Lord into this mess. 
I should smack you in the back right now with my axe. Get a little bit of vengeance. How that? Wait, that's a dagger. I want an axe. Who's the man that got me into this mess? There's the captain. Die! I want to kill this man. He got me into this. Ah. Very well then. Oh crap! We're sinking into the water. I. Oh dear. Uh, that was quite strange. I've been asleep. But you can't remember anything in the nightmares. What you remember clearly are Viking warriors boarding the Woden Rick, plunging their weapons into the bodies of captains. The sailors and Brodo the Cantabrian defending himself like a lion until cornered. You hear his words in your consciousness. Dark Lord, fight! I am with you! You remember the death. Your death. When your enemies fell, they didn't fall upon me. I fell into the water, damn it. I just sunk like a rock. You would think a man who's going to get in a boat like that would learn how to swim. Ah, you still feel the wooden floor of the boat smash into your cheek before you could barely breathe. Goodbye to the world. Your eyes met your mother's just before the end as a huge Viking dressed in iron. Could he be Sven? Cracked her head with his spear and threw her body to the side. You crawled, leaving a trail of blood, preferring to give your body to the fish. But you remember no more. Are you dead? But if you are dead, why do you feel the sore muscles of your body, or the heat from a nearby fire? How is it that you can clench your hands open with... You'll open your eyes and distinguish the beams of the roof over you. And if you're alive, who has saved you? Why and how? Continue. Yes, that didn't exactly happen like that. I didn't get knocked unconscious. I just jumped in the water and I sank like a rock. That's pretty much what happened. Uh, let's talk to the healer. Oh, you're awake! It's good to see that you can still walk. You're lucky, foreigner. Some god has watched over you. When they brought you here, you were more dead than alive. Really, I should have been drowned. Who are you? How did I get here? Where am I? The Dark Lord commands you. Answer me now! Ah, you've been close to death, unconscious for two weeks. The Shingo fisherman found you near the coast, clinging to a plank. You were barely breathing, and your body was covered with wounds. They brought you here so that I could heal you. Doshinga. Then I am in freeze. Are you the old sorcerer, the man who can cure all diseases? No. One man only could claim such fame. People from around the world came in search of cures at his door. They were so numerous they came up the trails to Doshinga. But that man died a year ago. I am maybe his son. I am just a simple healer. A year ago, you say? Damn, I've lost everything! This trip has been for nothing! Aha! The Dark Lord's mother is dead! And now, I have nothing to show for it. I didn't even go to the right place. I found a stupid man who doesn't even know how to hear people. Except for me. Oh, dear. Well, at least you healed me, man. Maybe you're not your father. But you did heal the Dark Lord, so I am in your debt. Ah, many like you have come here since the death of my father, leaving everything for the promise of a cure that I cannot give them. I am sorry, but the skills of my father died with him. Yes. Do you know if the fisherman found more people? Maybe my mother is still alive. Possibly the Dark Mother is still alive. It could be. I have hope. I have hope. Maybe. Not really. No, we don't really have hope. I'm sure she's dead. They brought only you here. I don't know more. You should go ask in Doshinga. The village is near. You need to talk to Thongkrik. Very good, healer. I'll talk to Thongkrik from Doshinga. Farewell. Doshinga is near here. Good luck, foreigner. Thongkrik is a good man. He will help you. And that is the end of the tutorial. Now we have to go to Doshinga. And we will hit tab to leave this place. 
And uh, we have a declaration of war already. The kingdom of Kanachka has declared war against the kingdom of Mumain. Blacksmiths have stopped manufacturing plows to forge swords and spears. War has been declared. Yes, yes, more war, more war. And here we have Doshinga. So let's uh, go ahead and move on to Doshinga. <coughs> now that we're here, I think this might be a good spot to go ahead and end this uh, first video. Uh, it's basically the end of the tutorial. And we will pick it up uh, shortly with the next one. As always, if you enjoy our video, I hope you'll hit the like button and subscribe. And we will see you again next time.